for the Bardic Madness Past challenge. I was going to do something I for Bardic Madness 2. I know I write stuff for 1, but I don't remember what it was. I know what I wrote for 2 for the Epics challenge. Throughout the years of Penzik War, we've seen many a queer thing. From painful plagues to human croquet to cattle that must have had wings. But perhaps the strangest tale I know of doings at Penzik War is the story of the first and only Penzik Emperor, Sir Galem Lionel Ostwestley, a knight valiant and true, had not the faintest inkling of what fate would have him do. He took his place upon the field armed with shield and sword, never knowing that by day's end he would be Penzik's lord. The cannon went off with a roar, and the melee it began. Slashing sword and thrusting spear put paid to many a man. Within the shield wall swirling midst Sir Galen he did slay, until he found his path was blocked. Tiger King did bar the way. Now Galen did not know his foe wore a crown upon his head. He only knew that some short man kept trying to take his leg. <laughs> He grew a little tired of these luckless low-leg blows and decided there and then of their author to dispose. Though short you are, you soon shall be a little shorter yet. The monarch found he'd lost a foot as our knight lopped off his head. His man dispatched Sir Galen looked for some new foe to attack when suddenly an unseen-handed knock upon <laughs> his back. Now, way back then, engagement rules were not what they are of late. If you began to turn, a sword would fly and seal your fate. So grimly raising up his sword, he threw as he turned round to find no foe. But Midrealm King, his guard completely <laughs> down. The sword already on its way could not be called back home. And to the dragon's crown it flew. Dropping laurel and like a stone. <laughs> Sir Galen went upon his way, though. Sorry for his king. And at day's end, Duke Andrew said he'd done the damnedest thing. All hail, tiger and dragon's bane, both of whom you slew. There's no one left to run this war, and so it falls to you. You did not seek an emperor's throne, nor to rule a land so wide, and yet this day the one aware, <laughs> you've done dual regicide. <laughs> Sir Caleb, he grew rather pale as though suffering an attack. I do not want this crown, he said, and quickly gave it back. To those who dream of empires vast, think of our gallant knight. Though he did win imperial throne, he quickly saw the light. For if you kill all kings you meet, you might. Run out of luck. You could be crowned imperial, and then with the job, be stuck. <laughs>